Hey guys, it's Mike the Scrapper. I got a request on how to take the copper out of these electric motors and I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. This is the guy who sent it to me. I want to thank you. You are the best. Okay, from the United States. You are number one. Alright, so everybody give this guy a round of applause. Alright, so let's get back to this here. Alright, the motor. What I did was is they're all connected as you can see there and they're all connected on the bottom there so what I decided to do was just cut it on the on a one length here and I wanted to show you that if you do that and I'm only doing this with one hand so you gotta excuse me the piece comes right out as you can see okay so all you have to do is cut one end and then match it on the other side which is right here and excuse the lighting just match it on the other side and it should come right out okay just like that see that one two three now I have another one here if I can just find it for a second here you go now these are the same thing these came from like a little electric fan alright now the same thing you just take out these little pieces of wire and you just match them match one side for the other side and you can pull these out really quick with a screwdriver or maybe put it on a vise and it'll come right off Okay, it's very simple. It's a little time consuming, but just think about it. You're going to get in 20 cents a pound for this, where I'm from. Maybe, you know, maybe depending on the market. But if you take it apart, you're going to get 2 to $3 a pound for this stuff. Maybe more, depending on how the market is. All right. So just, you know, think about that. You know, if you want to get into this. I actually cut these with a pair of wire cutters. Um, or you guys can call them like dykes. I cut them with a pair of those, and I had no problem with it. Okay, I actually can't find my dikes right now to show you which ones I used, but um, actually I just found it now. And excuse, like I said, excuse the thing with the camera, but um, this this is pretty much what I used right here. All right, these are the dikes right here that I used. Okay, regular pair of dikes just cut. I just started cutting them little by little, you know, a few at a time, and then went to the other side and just started popping them right off, you see? comes off one two three all right guys you guys got any more questions please send me a post you know let me know what you guys are thinking let me know what you guys want to do if you guys want to see a video on something if I have it I will definitely post it and show you guys you know how to take something apart like a dishwasher or a washing machine or a dryer stuff like that all right but until then you know thank you very much for sending me the post and I will you know so keep sending some videos. I have some other stuff I want to send out. I want to show you guys some other things like, you know, little motors here from VCRs and DVD players. And some other motors here from uh, little TVs, VCRs, DVD players, things like that. These are the actual motors that are in here, but they're actually smaller, okay? But it's very time consuming to take these out. Get the 20 cents a pound for this stuff. Leave it alone. All right? But until then, thank you so much. You are the best. See you guys later. Peace.